Hey everybody, I've got a 2016 October build Model S 75D. Uh, this particular model came with AP2. As you know, um, a lot of us bought FSD right back in 2016 and just recently found out when we were running around like grandma's driving um, with 100% score or 99% safety score we're not getting FSD beta and uh, we raised a big stink about it and we got a reply from Mr. Elon that uh, you know what the cameras need to be upgraded and that they were going to work on a path to this. This still hasn't been uh, ironed out um, but I want to let you know um, that I actually I had gotten the infotainment upgrade done, um, full self-driving computers installed and then uh, when I did that I noticed that sentry mode and dash cam footage was very um, it was like kind of grayscale, right? It wasn't it didn't have that color a nice color to it like the newer ones So what I did back then and this was probably about six months ago. I replaced the Side repeater cameras right here. They're about hundred thirty dollars each. That was very easy to do took all but five minutes each side um, And then I went and had the triple tree camera upgraded So you're probably wondering, you know, what's the deal with the triple tree? Well, um the side repeaters you can get over the counter at Tesla, but the triple cam is actually a restricted part. What does that mean? It means that you cannot buy it and put it in yourself. You could buy it from a third party or buy it on Amazon. Um, I highly recommend not doing that because what the deal is, would you want to take liability if you do something wrong? That's your main eye for your car. I wouldn't recommend doing that. But this triple tree, I think it was about 160 bucks for the part only 30 bucks for them to install and they had to calibrate it and what they calibrate it it has like in different sections it has these poster boards with like almost like a bullseye type thing where they go ahead and um, calibrate it that way um, so highly recommend you haven't doing that so I upgraded all these three here in the front I'm running around with a 99 100% safety score and I'm like we're not getting this well yeah we got to upgrade the cameras but there was one thing I missed I don't want to wait I'm impatient I actually went ahead and um, bought brand new from Tesla, it's not a restricted part, the B-pillar camera. So the B-pillar, they call them appliques, left hand, right hand. Um, I bought these, these are about 160 bucks each. So mine shipped with AP2 on these, right? Um, they're more, the, they're called the RCCC cameras, so they got like a kind of grayscale when you look at it. I wasn't worried about this back then when I was doing the dash cam because it only uses the side repeaters and the triple cam, but full self-driving needs this. Now, um, I didn't want to wait. I went and got these parts, just got them in today. Um, I was wondering, you know, what's the big deal here? Why, why do these need to be upgraded? And I think I found out why. Um, if we go look at the differences between these cameras, these appliques, or these speak pillars, you're gonna see a big difference. So let's go ahead and start with it here. So let's take a look. Let me take you up here on the top. So here is the actual, uh, let me get up here on the top here. Here is the actual um, old one. So when we take a look at it, all right, let me see if I can adjust the light here. We take a look at it, right? It's got its little camera eye there. It's shining out. Um, you've got your emblem down here with the old Tesla, this is the 2016 edition, AP2. It's got a little emblem down there, which is different. And what we notice here in the back is they use some sticky tape here, right? To kind of put this together. This was in the early days when this probably, we, I mean, this is an October build. So it's like probably a couple weeks they start chipping with this in here, right? So it's a little different. So we take a look at it here. It's got some of these, you got to pry that off. It's kind of a pain to get it off, but that's the old one. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the, the big one. I'm gonna show you some of the differences. Oops. So we notice right off the bat with the newer one, so this is coming all the way, this is from a January 2021 car. Look at how big that window, that clear area is around the camera. It's much bigger. I know it's been noted in the past when these came out. Um, you look down here, the logo is gone here in the front. Um, it's got a little film on here for when you apply it, you take it off. Same holes line up, but when we get back here, we got some differences. So look at what they did. They refined it here. You see now they added a foam all the way across here, and then that's NCF, right, for you can put your card up here. Will it work with my 2016? I don't know, but I sure hope so. That'd be kind of cool. But 
we noticed that some difference here is on the camera too. So it's been definitely uh, refined. It looks a lot cleaner than the old one. So I got to say that. So let's go ahead and show you the differences here. Let's go ahead and put these here nice and easy here and look at them side by side. So here you can see them right here. Let me go ahead and adjust the camera here. All right, so you can see them. There they are side by side. Big differences, right? So people saying that, you know, it's only difference is, is that you're going from an RCCC to an RGGB camera. No, that's not the case. It's different. It's got a bigger window in the front too. Now, for folks that want to do this and don't want to wait, okay, I got a little interesting tidbit for you. All right, so taking this thing off, so coming in here, let's go ahead and show you how this works. So looking at here in the back, right, you see that it's got to go up, so it latches on right here. So basically, you're going to have to hook this connector right here. It's got a little layer in the back. You just push it, pulls right out of here. Be careful with this when you're taking it off. This is fragile here. If you screw this up, they got to rerun a whole nother cable, and that's going to cost you. So be careful when pulling this out. So it'll sit right in here like this, right, like you see it. Okay. It'll be in here nice and easy, and then you're probably going to, the older one, you're going to have all this stuff here on the side, right? It's going to be really sticky, so you're going to have to use a little tool like this to kind of pry it off nice and slowly, right? So keep in mind that when you first come up to this thing, you're going to have this guy right here. It's going to be uh, a cover. It's going to be sitting over here like this, right? It's going to be sitting like this. What you're going to have to do is use your pry tool to pry it up on the top to pull it back like this and to get it out. Now look at the clips here. You can tell right here it's going to come off from the top first. And then you're going to go ahead and swivel down, okay? So once you do that, then what you're going to be presented with is you're going to have two torques, one here and one here. This one's going to come off easy for you, right? You've got access to it. This one, the door's going to be in the way, so you're going to have to use a 90-degree Torx or use a Torx and then put a little crescent wrench on the end, kind of pull it out. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and slowly use your tool to come across here, off, off here, and then you're going to go ahead and be able to bring that down, right, and off you go. It's not bad. It took me all but, I don't know, 15 minutes. The hardest part was fighting, the, fighting this off, right? So that's all I wanted to do. I just want to let you guys know what I'm up to. Hopefully I'm going to get full self-driving beta here. I don't know. I mean, uh, we'll see. Hopefully it probes it and, and sees that uh, this car now has all upgraded cameras up to the very latest. So my fingers are crossed, um, hoping something can be done. I've, tr I've tried to talk to service folks. They don't. Nobody knows anything about this. But I can tell you that all the cameras will be on the update. So I'll keep you guys up to date on the progress. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Have a good day.